Nash Tax Reform Group is taking aim at the district's five cent bag tax, calling it ineffective and unfair to the poor. Bruce Johnson visited a popular diner to see how that tax is affecting one small business. At Ooze and Oz restaurant on U Street in Northwest, the patrons come at all hours for the food. Few, if any, are carrying their own bags to avoid the five cents fee for a plastic or paper carryout bag. Even though it's five cents, it is an inconvenience. Some of them have to run back out to the car to grab a bag, to come back in to get their food, which are, might be two or three platters. The National Tax Reform Group calls the district's bag tax one of the most annoying taxes ever devised. Patrick Gleason of Americans for Tax Reform says it's the poor who end up paying the nickel fee for a bag. Unlike upscale neighborhoods, poor communities re rely on public transportation, don't have spacious trunks in which to put around all their canvas reusable bags, and so they really get uh, hit them hardest from this, and also it takes up a greater share of their income. Than the D.C. Council approved a bag tax in an effort to cut down on the paper and plastic bags that leave the stores and restaurants and end up in the streets and waterways. We've had a 70 percent decrease in the use of disposable bags in D.C., and they have found 67 percent less trash containing bags out of the Anacostia River. Councilman Tommy Wells says Maryland and Virginia are now considering a bag tax, but right now D.C. is the only jurisdiction in the country that has such a law. The owner of Who's and Oz is not a supporter of the bag tax. It adds to her administrative chores. She doubts it's helping the environment. <laughs> now all of a sudden we're worried, worried about the Potomac River. Bag tax has raised about $2 million for the city's coffers in the first year. Bruce Johnson, 9 News Now. The Americans for Tax Reform Group says it may challenge the bag tax or referendum at the polls.